And a very good afternoon to you all. Good morning, depending on where you are watching across the whole of the globe. I hope you are well and welcome to your Wednesday's edition of Wake Up Call. My name is, of course, Craig Laird. Hence the name Craig in the title. And there's my full name right along the bottom. So if you do want to follow me on social media, there is the details. But while you're there, always check out the full team at Crafters Companion. Just add CC on the end of the name and you'll find them whether it's Instagram or Facebook. But as I said, it is Wednesday. So what does Wednesday mean? It means we've got another day jam-packed full of the rafters and what it is incredible uh, incredibly exciting as well what we've got is we've got Jan back for the full day we've also got Becky back as well we'll say hi to Becky just in a moment or two but as I said that is Masterclass so Masterclass is going to be coming up at 3 p.m. here in the UK 10 a.m. Eastern Time 7 a.m. Pacific Time then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be closing out the day I say closing out the day obviously it is night time here in the UK but closing out the day of Crafters TV of uh, Creative Cravens that's 7 p.m. here in the UK 2 p.m. Eastern Time and 11 a.m. Pacific Time but what I do want to say as well it's not the end of it all because later on half past nine uh, here in the UK 4.30 Eastern 1.30 Pacific time if you go across to my Facebook live uh, I'm going to be doing a Facebook live from my page and we're going to do a little bit of a tease as to what to expect tomorrow with myself and Joe come a very special cartload tomorrow so that is then going to be what I believe we've even got a little picture as well so wait a pop look at that Oh look! Oh look at oh look at him there. That time when he used to have short hair. Remember that time? <laughs> yeah, look at that. I could get a ponytail and everything now. <laughs> Not till next week because that's when it's getting chopped off. <laughs> anyway, as I said a moment ago, we've got Becky back. Hiya, Becky. How are you doing? Hi, love. Oh, I'm really good. How are you? I'm really good as well. Really excited. Wednesday midweek. I'm feeling bright, breezy, and you're in as well. I've got to say, you're looking bright as well. That Thank is you. neon. I feel good, like you should it? just get some glow sticks so we can go out oh, partying. Amazing. <laughs> that would be so good, couldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I don't think I would do well when it comes to camouflage, that's for sure. <laughs> that's but, you know. true. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to today. We've got loads going on for you. Don't forget, we've got the uh, craft vault coming up for you in a little bit. 25% off for you in that. And did you know, if you head on over to our website, you will be one of the first people to notice the spring sale has started. If you, like me, love your crafting stuff, especially when it's a bargain, do head on over and have a little nosy on our website with massive discounts. 50% off is good, but some items are 70% off. So that is your chance to head on over. We've got so many deals coming up for you today, including in the masterclass, I have got Cosmic Shimmer back in. It sold out. Zip, like that last time. And um, I don't know, it zips quick. Hmm. Um, but yeah, we sold out really quickly last time. So that's coming up for you in the masterclass as well. So do not forget, more discount deals on their way for you. But for now, do you fancy a little sneak preview? Go on then, Craig, what have you got? Okay, okay, let's have a look and see what to expect throughout the day on Crafters TV. So Becky's just gone over a little bit and we're going to go over it in a bit more detail over the next hour, hour and a half. So we're going to be having a look at the Sarah Signature Vintage Diary Collection. So within this collection here, you're going to find things of your papers, your vellums, you've got dies, you've got embossing folders, you've even got things like your ribbons, your twine. Look at all of that that you're getting within this set here, including embossing folder, 2D embossing folder, metal charms, a whole array of products. Now, if you want to go for this specific big set, 69 elements in total, you're going to be £103.90 here in the UK. $139.50 for you guys stateside. Now, even if you're not in Club Inspire, that is what you're going to be paying. Although I know many of you are in the Club Inspire, so depending on which tier you are in, you're going to be paying even less than that. Now, this collection it is your craft card colours. It is your browns. We've got a mix of lilacs there. Now, because of that colour combination, that's going to work with previous Sada Signature collection previous nature garden collections, honky dory collections, a whole lot because of the colour selection that is included within that one there. Now what you could also do as well is you could then pick elements from this collection and what about incorporating them into a stencil set. Now we've got these humongous 12 by 12 stencils on the show as well. So what we can do is that throughout the show as well, we are going to be using them and using them on smaller projects to show how you've got different elements 
different ways that you can use them. Now, within this one here, we have got our fallen hearts. Now, I do want to keep in mind that this is, it is 12 by 12, so we've just inked half of them, but then what you can do is you can emboss the other half. So we've also got sketched swirls. We've even got dots and spots. So many different background formula formulations even. You'll be able to use these ones in. Deco tiles. We've even got Moroccan tile. And then we've even got Chesterfield leather. I love this one. This one reminds me of your WWE steel cages or your hell in your cell. These remind me of them. So why not use them within the men's cards or the men's features? These are going to look really well, whichever way that you're going to use them. To actually emboss with them, you're going to need the Gemini Pro, but to ink and colour through them, like I'm going to do in this show, you could just use them as a standalone. So if you do want to go with them once they're $47.94 here in the UK, for you guys states, like 59.70. As I always like to say at this point as well, if you are across in Europe, just go across to your website. So either crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu, you're going to find everything else and so much more at the touch of a button on your laptop, PC, tablet, phone, whichever one you are using. Now, what you might want to even be able to do to incorporate them with the stencils or you might want to use them with your Sarah's signature collection. So bear with a minute. These collections are that big that what we've had to do is we've actually had to put them underneath so that we've got enough room for, for little old me as well. Now we've got a couple of options. So when it comes to one of the options, you can be getting uh, three of them. So this one is your December, your January and February. £40.77 here in the UK, £47.88 for you guys stateside. So that's one option that you could go for. But then you might want to go for March, April and May. And then within that option as well, you guessed it, £40.77 here in the UK, £47.88 for you guys stateside. Then, what about maybe going for June, July and August? I've heard June is a very special month, certainly for uh, two people called Craig Laird and Debbie Fisher. You might want to go for those stamps, send them a birthday card maybe. It's entirely up to you. £40.77 here in the UK, £47.88 for you guys stateside. All of these that I am telling you, you're getting the dies to go with them as well. So these are finishing off the month again with the last three of them. September, October and November, £40.77, £47.88 if you want to go for these individual sections. Now, when it comes to these ones there, it is, of course, the flowers, and it is, of course, the dyes as well to go with them. Well, we'll show you just a couple to give you the idea. Let's go for it. Let's show you, for instance, December. Now, December being poinsettia, certainly here in the UK anyway, you've got all of these stamps that you could be stamping out. However, what you've also got is the die collection to go with them as well. So you could be die cutting them out, you could be using them as standalone elements if you want to. So many different ways, so versatile in which you can use them. And these will go through your Gemini, of course your large Gemini. They're going to go through your midi and your junior as well when it comes to the size of them. Many of the elements will go through your mini or your go, but I would certainly say either your midi, which if you're in the market, we're going to show you that just coming up, or your junior and you can get straight away crafting and creating as well. But what we've also got within these shows as well uh, today, we've also got some incredible craft vault deals we're also going to be picking up on throughout this wake up call show. So I tell you what, while I go and get myself sorted across onto the other side, what we're going to do is have a look at what uh, else is coming up when it comes to these uh, floral birth month stamps. And then we are going to be uh, going across onto the other side, being creative cravings that they're going to be featured in. So if you're going to do tune in, then tune in to Masterclass 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time, and then, as I say, Creative Cravens being 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, or 11 a.m. Pacific Time. So you've got this nice array of stamp and dies that you can be using when it comes to special occasions throughout the month. So, now that I'm at this side, what we can do now is I can get myself sorted, ready for the first demonstration, and it's going to be featuring something that Becky's actually going to go over right now. 
Oh, I tell you what, we have got some real treats for you today. Have a little nosy at what I've got coming up for you in your craft bowl. I'm starting off for, with you um, some wonderful fancy frames. We're getting the square frame in these ones and the edgeables. But the great thing is you can opt to have them as square or rectangular frames, or you can switch them up to have the fancy edge frames. If you get the frame and you buy a little bit of a dream, then you will get the piece for free. As well as getting the piece die and the dream die, you're gonna be getting stamps in there as well, including, uh, and goodwill to all men for the piece and for dream, follow your dream. So you've got loads of stamps in there as well. All of that on your screen right now. Don't forget you're getting the extra discount too with that one. If you do have your club inspire, then feel free to treat yourself. You're looking at that, you're thinking, I like it, but what can I do with it, Bex? Craig will tell you, won't you? I absolutely will. We're going to have a little bit of a play. So what we can do is this demo's not going to take too long. So let's say a good morning, first of all, to many of you that are tuning in. We've got Sarah, we've got Lil, we've got Kathy from Illinois. Good morning to you. Patty, Diane, Kathy, Val, Katie, Jeanette. Katie is saying looking very bright and cheery today, Craig. Thank you very much. I think we're all feeling bright and cheery on this Wednesday afternoon. Patty is saying good morning from Northern Ohio, where it snowed last night and we got three inches of snow. Oh, gosh. That's amazing. That's, that is amazing. Yeah. We did have a sprinkling of snow last weekend. Yeah, we yeah, did. It was, wasn't it? Well, yeah. it's just sprinkling. It lay on the ground. Yeah. It lay on the ground in <laughs> April. Sun's out now. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, if you've seen Johnny, he was only out in the sun for 20 minutes. He's I know. red as a beetroot now, bless him. Did you see how him and his wife went for a coffee before they picked up the kids and um, he's got sunburn? Yeah, bless yeah, him. bless him. What's he like? Uh, Sharon is saying, morning, crafty family. You are, you are bright, Craig. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> I, I thought I'd be. But in case the sun's not out, uh, we go a bit bright. But we have this afternoon, we've got Johnny in the gallery. Good afternoon, Johnny. Good afternoon. And we've also got Charlotte in the gallery. Good afternoon, Charlotte. Afternoon. There we go. And we've got Katie is saying, I've just decided I am spending the whole day watching Crafters TV. Brilliant. Excellent. Last but not least, and I am going to pick up on this because Pamela, I really want to see it. It's not here in the UK just yet. Craig, I was going to bed last night and I, uh, I seen a show called WWE's Most Wanted Treasures was coming on immediately. That's something I cannot wait until uh, it comes here in the UK. And it's about old memorabilia that's been lost over the years. Like the, the little stretchy pants? Yeah, and or like old the belts. style WWE titles that have maybe been lost and the fans maybe picked them up. So they try and track them all down. So wow. Looking forward to coming, uh, seeing that one. So that sounds good. Not sure what channel will uh, carry it here in the UK, but I can't wait to see it all the same. I think it'd be Channel 5. Oh, you never know. You just never know, do you? Right here, let's have a look at our uh, stamp and die set here. So I'm going to be using the Dream, and I'm also going to be using the square frames as well. I say square frames, you've got one that's a different style. What I'm going to do for this one, is I've taken some very bright yellow cardstock, and I've also taken a piece of 8x8 pattern paper. This is from the second instalment of the Year of Craft and I have chopped that down to six and a half by six and a half inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tacky glue for this one because I want to go all over the back and it's kind of key that I want to go all over the back here. I'm going to mat and layer this one into place and I'm going to press. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to bring in the die so I'm going to bring in the dream die. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to bring in this outer square frame. Now what happens is size Y, it meets perfectly. All you need to do is once you've cut it, just trim at these edges and this aperture bit will come out. I want to extend that slightly. So what I'm going to do, let's bring down the dream and you can then Secure that by maybe drawing a pencil line if you want it to be straight. I'm just going to go for it. And what I'm going to do is let's go up. Now, once again, I'm kind of eyeballing this space in. You could be more precise if you want. And then I'm going to run this one through. Now, the size of this means that I do need to put it through my daddy Gemini. So we're going to run it through. And then what we're going to do is it's actually going to end up creating a frame. 
Now you can use these as an edgeable if you would rather not use the square frame, but then you could start to use the square, square frame on its own if you want to maybe do a fold down or you know a different style edgeable. But this is then going to come out as well. Gosh, Becky, I see loads of people jumping in with uh, comments soon, there's, saying good morning or afternoon. There's eh? loads and loads of people. It's lovely to see you all. Lots of people again talking about WWE. Katie's saying, Becky is always bubbly and bright. She oh, is. Oh, thank you. You are a ray of sunshine in our day, Craig, says Move. Oh, how, how nice. That's so kind. It is true. Oh, but then it's equally so good to see you back as well. Well, I know because you were in on the weekend, weren't you? I yeah, was, yeah, yeah, the weekend, yeah, the weekend just gone. Yeah, it was my first two days back to back. <gasps> Brilliant. Tell you what, I was crafting bonkers by the end of it. It was Big brilliant. Yeah. I'm glad you said crafting there. I wondered where you were going to go with that <laughs> one there. So what I'm going to do now, Becky, is I'm going to imagine we've got a line just going down the side here. You could be a pencil line if you want. I don't even have a pencil to show you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down with my craft knife so that it's in parallel with the dream. So we're going to continue that all the way down till we get into the same line of the dream. So if we come down here and then we're going to come down into here. So now that I'm quite happy with that, that I've continued that line all the way down, what I'm then going to do is carry that line from the end of dream to that cutting edge that I've done. So we're going to cut into here, and then we're going to cut into here. This then gives us our sort of aperture frame that we can see here. So we've got dream, and it sits nicely in that inner frame. What I've also done is just using the die on its own, I have cut out the word dream. So all that I've done is I've sat it on and ran that one through to die cut it. So this gives us the dream within the yellow card. So what I'm then going to do is let's go in with our tacky glue again, and I'm going to add a little bit onto the back here. So if I add a little bit here, I'm going to do a little bit along the line. Then what I'm going to do is do a little bit of a drop shadow to the side here. And then you can see, I'm going to do it so that we don't see any yellow strip along the bottom. So if I bring in a piece of white card, how nice and bright does that look? It looks fab. But what we're going to do, just to finish it off, I have done one already, nothing different. All that I needed to do, well actually, I'll tell you what, Oh no, let's leave it like that. I hadn't done my drop shadow there. I got a bit ahead of myself last night because look, I've popped my foam pads on. Hey. But let's see, I wonder if I can take it off. Yeah, there we go. Let's do it because I want to have this one finished. All nice. So a tiny few little bits. Then what we're going to do is I've got a photo that I've printed out on my printer. <laughs> Me and our old doggy DJ. We'll bring him in just in a second. DJ. DJ, here Aww. he is, just here. <gasps> oh, schnookums. One of my favourite <gasps> photos of him. That's such a lovely picture. Nice little photo, isn't it? Really nice cute. Little wee cutie. So I thought what we can do then is we can incorporate this into a bit of a photo frame. Now, it could be home decor if you want. You can then maybe pop it into a box frame, or I am going to pop it into a card or onto a card. So let's take this one and take my backing off. And I'm going to, once again, kind of rough, well, I don't even need to roughly. What I can do is I can position it where I want and the foam pads are going to pick it up where I need it to be. Press it back into place. Let's take a couple of these bits of my backing off. And then that's all that I'm going to do. Let's bring my card in, make sure it's the right way. Pop it into place here. And actually, we are. I'm going to take a couple of the daisies. This is from Sarah's Garden of Love collection. So let's pop them ones in. There, there. And that is all that I'm doing this time to finish it off. So a nice little frame slash card. Nice way to use the dream. Now, not forgetting, you still get the da uh, stamps to go with it. So you could be follow your dream or dream 
the impossible, or you can do what I've done and leave it as it is, just with the die on its own. So we've got Dream with the little photo of me and DJ into the middle. So that could be a card for someone, or as I say, maybe pop it into a box frame if you want. A really cute little die set, I think. I think that's so adorable. I can completely imagine it in a box frame, maybe in like um, like on a, on a kid's door or something. That could look quite nice, couldn't it? Um, we have got that opportunity for you to recreate that wonderful card and more. All you need to do is treat yourself to your treat and deal on screen you're looking at 17 pound 22 or 26 dollars 13 but if you're part of club inspire even more of those savings just as a reminder you're buying your frame you're getting one of the dies and two of the stamps um you're buying those and then you're getting the other set for free so do feel free to treat yourself to that one get it got it good today oh it's a great one it really is super duper special it is your midi! Now, if you've been planning on treating yourself to one of these, it's great for making on the go. Guess what? Not only are you getting a fantastic deal, you are getting 100 extra bonus points. This is a fab one to take if you're caravanning. It's going to be great if you're planning on going camping, seeing your friends soon, even crafting on a train. So do feel free to treat yourself to that one now if you so wish. Maybe you're thinking of doing some craft first this summer fingers crossed, that would be a great one for you to get your customers in at the stall, right? Playing along whilst they're crafting and purchasing. So feel free to grab that one now whilst you can. So what have we got for you on its way right now? We have got the stencils and these are the features of our masterclass coming up for you in a little bit. Stencils, always fabulous fun to work with, aren't they, Craig? <laughs> They are. There's so many different things that you can do with them. Now, these are the large 12 by 12. So if you were wanting to emboss with them, then you're going to need your Gemini Pro for this. However, I, with this demo and another one with another stencil set, what I've done is I've not embossed them because I want to show you that you can use them as standalone if you so wish. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, we've also got uh, Katie is asking, when it comes to that last demo that I done, why did I use tacky glue and not all purpose glue? You could do if you want, but with the tacky glue, it's tacky, so you're going to get more of an instant grab and it's going to dry a lot quicker. Uh, however, you can, of course, use the all-purpose if you want. It's entirely up to yourself. Uh, Pamela, are the, the same windows that are used with the Peekaboo Stampin' Dies? Great question. No, different uh, size, so you're not going to be doubling up if you were to use them ones. And June on YouTube is saying that was an adorable photo. Thank you, June. Agreed. Glad you like that one. Right, let's go in now and got, it's like my second cup of tea of the day. Are you a tea drinker, Becky? Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah. yeah. No milk. Uh, I'm the same. And I leave the tea bag in. Oh, I'm definitely not the same then. <laughs> so um, I like my no milk as well. But then what I do, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see from up above, is... Well, put it this way, at home, and I only do this at home, right. a tea bag would do me two cups of tea because I don't have it strong. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, you know, if you come around to my house for a cup of tea, don't think that you're going to get the leftover tea bag. You will get a fresh one, don't worry. But for myself, I will uh, reuse the tea bag. Wow, so you like it really weak. And you do. just like to introduce the tea bag. Introduce and goodbye. I love that. Mine's, I... mine's more of a sort of... Dip it, hotel. Dip it, dip, yeah. No, mine's oh. just a hotel. It gets put in, it stays there as long as it likes. Got yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. No, I do. I'm, um, I suppose I'm more of a dip it, yeah. Yeah, dip yeah. It in and out. Yeah. Quite yeah. quick. Right, so what I've done here is I've taken a piece of our white smooth stamping card. I can't remember the measurements. I think it's just over five by seven, but we'll check that in a minute. Now, I've taken some of our pigment ink pads. I've brought in, I know you can't quite see them because I've got them up on my glass mat, but I've got Pink Tulip, Oasis, Spring Meadow, Fuchsia and Honey Pot. What I'm going to do is using my finger daubers and I'm going to go along the edges or along the top and what I'm going to do is a bit of a rainbow effect so we can blend them in if you want and then what we can then do afterwards because these stay sticky so time dependent we can either leave them as they are or you can come along with some embossing powders and you can then start to uh, emboss them if you want. And with these ones, 
with the full stencil set and lots of other things. Jan's going to be showing you them in the masterclass later on. So if you do want to tune in for that one, that's going to be 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time. So let's just pick up my dauber again. So this time what I'm doing is I'm going in with a pink tulip, Becky. That's beautiful. Just a nice colour array, isn't it? Yeah. You know, when you start to do a rainbow effect. Oh, by the way, um, Stephanie on Facebook says that her mum always used the tea bag twice as well. Yeah. However, Jeanette is on a... She says, I'm with you, Becky. Leave the tea bag in. It's... I can... If someone makes me a cup of tea and it's a strong tea, yeah. I can drink it like that. Mm. Now, I like to think I'm a polite guy. Mm -hmm. But if someone makes me a cup of tea and puts milk in it, yeah. I, I can't drink no, tea I with can't milk. No, I can't either. I can't, no, I, really I just can't. can't. No. Depending on who the person is, I'll either pretend to have drunk it and, you know, maybe Sorry. go into the kitchen. How can you pretend? Well, you, you know, just pretend, mm, you know, lovely cup of tea. And then if they go to the, no, Charlotte, I don't put it in the plant pot. Um, but if they go to <laughs> the toilet or to another room, I'll maybe run through to the kitchen or that. Right, and, just and pour pop it out. into the sink. Right. Um, or if, you know, know them quite well, I will. If they know me quite well, they really, usually say, oh, Craig. Gonna put milk in it. Yeah. And at that point, I can say, you know, I'm not being horrible, but I, I just can't drink tea with milk. No, it's fine, I'll make you another one. Um, or if I'm really friendly with them, like if it's a family member that's forgotten, I'd be like, come on, you know me 30, <laughs> 34 years, 35 years. Oh my God, I forgot my age there. <laughs> 35 years, you should know by now. Not that I had tea when I was a baby. I know, blimey. Uh, yeah, I'm 36 in June, Johnny. Yeah. Oh. I know. It's meant to uh, spend my 35th birthday in New York last year, but that didn't happen, did no. it? No. I know. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, did you hear that in the gallery yeah. there? That, oh, oh, so sincere, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't, no. <laughs> not at all. It's, it's like, oh, really, Craig, you've not banged on enough about it, have you? <laughs> yeah, they're agreeing with that one, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rita's with me as well. I am uh, with Rebecca when it comes to tea. Long tea bag Ooh. dippage. But, yeah. She didn't use the word dippage. You I would did. just like no, I did. Yeah, I would just like Rita to go. I didn't like dippage. What an <laughs> odd word. That was me, Rita. Do you know what's interesting as well, though? And I don't know about you, Becky, but how many when you're crafting? How many cups of tea do you actually I hate the word waste? But how many do we actually waste because we get that carried away crafting? that we forget to drink it. I genuinely was crafting the other day and I totally forgot I'd made myself a brew and no exaggeration, it was about three hours later until I looked at it, just a full mug, Yeah. ice cold. Would you microwave it to heat it up? I used to years ago, mm -hmm. but no, not now. No. Not now, no. no. I think now that I have uh, my own house and I think it's just Financially better just to make another cup of tea than <laughs> shove it in the microwave. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm not paying for that ele electric on the microwave. <laughs> Although the kettle's probably just as bad. But yeah, no, uh. I won't do. I won't do that now. Not now. <laughs> oh, you've matured. I've matured. <laughs> yeah. I'm not oh, using the microwave. Changed. Yeah. Cost money. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Hit 34, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, when you have to start paying your own bills, it's a bit different then, isn't it? Yeah, right. It's all right, I'll use the microwave. My mum and stepdad pay for it, and then I come along and go, nope, <laughs> not doing it. <laughs> Here we go. So all that I was just doing is going through a variety of colours there. So fuchsia, pink tulip, oasis, honey pot, and spring meadow. And I've gone back to fuchsia and oasis. Now, you could be using your spray, temporary wow. adhesive spray with the stencils. I like to use my low tack tape. And then what I'm going to quickly do with this one, let's bring in our, a bit of cardstock. Now, although this doesn't feel wet, it's tacky. And again, it doesn't feel tacky, but if you come along, because it's a pigment ink pad, and I'm going to put on some clear embossing powder, that makes it go a little bit cloudy, cloudier uh, up close anyway. So I can then move all that to the side. I'm going to bring in my heat tool. And then this is going to give it kind of like a glossy accent sheen to it. It's going to give it a coating. And what it also enables, enables you to do, it gives it also a resist effect. So you could come on with more colours if you want. 
and what you've just laid down is then going to basically resist and notice as well this isn't 12 by 12 so you don't have to use the stencils in a 12 by 12 format and quite possibly if you're like me you might very rarely actually use them as a full 12 by 12 you might use them like what I've done and that's part of the stencil mm, yeah we're going and do you use stencils a lot Becky I do a lot actually I have to say even on um, things like glass work I'll use them loads because wow. I just think it creates it's always such a professional finish but you can still have a lot of fun yeah. playing with different textures different colors I'm so excited to see this embossed with that gorgeous depth that you can get with embossing it's gonna look fab it's gonna look nice and I'm just using a clear embossing powder you could still use another embossing powder that I wouldn't say overly powerful with colour because you don't want to take away what you've done but maybe a embossing powder that's got a hint of you know pastel to it or something mm. and it can kind of change the look slightly but in a good way mm. so then there we go so if I set that to the side what we're going to do so if I, I'm going to try and tilt it so we can see, we're going to oh, get... look at that. You see that sheen coming yeah. off? Oh, look at that. That lovely sheen and texture. Look at that. Looks so, fab. And you don't need to do the embossing powder. You can, of course, just do it uh, with colour, maybe what reactive colour. But to simply make a really simple card, what I'm then going to do to show off that colour, let's bring in a bit of black. So this card is five five and a half by seven and a half inches. So we can then pop that onto a bit of black. Let's put this one onto a card blank. And then, have, I'm not sure if you've seen them yet, Becky, are Eclipse Alphabet and Stamp Dies? I've not seen them not yet. Not seen them yet. What I've done is I've used the alphabet as a normal alphabet, so I've not used them in the Eclipse way. Mm -hmm. What I can do, oh look, I've always already put tape on last night. If I take this off, and you could put any word that you want. Let's put that one in. There we go. So we've got love. That's using 12 by 12 stencil. And just to pick up on Cathy, Cathy said, did Craig say you have to have the pro for these stencils? If you want to emboss them, as in the rubber embossing mat to push the detail out, Yes, you need the, the Gemini Pro, but to do your inking, your spritzing, your paste, anything like that, you don't need the Pro. You can use them as a standalone. And there's one idea as to how you can use them if you want. I absolutely adore that. It looks like fantastic sort of tiling work. Thank you so much for that, Craig. You're welcome. If you do uh, fancy treating yourself to some um, of elements, then you absolutely can. You've got your pigments and stuff on screen. But I've also got some stencils here on the way for you as part of the wonderful Craft Vault. These stencils um, are the wood grain effect and the natural stone effect. As you can see, again, sizable pieces, just show over 12 by 12 on these ones. This for me, super Instagrammable. Who's been on Etsy, Pinterest and seen photographs taken against this type of background, yeah? Maybe you could make your own photograph board with it using your own branded colors. Of course, great for your cards as well though. Not only that, we've also got your natural stone. I think the natural stone to me is a little bit like tortoise shell. Um, I think when you think of turtles or tortoise shells, you maybe think that they're quite gridded. Um, I definitely did, but I actually got a tortoise earlier on this year. And it is so much like this, loads of different patterns. Also, it's a little bit sort of um, mosaic, isn't it? I like the idea of using different colours and being like you're in sort of a Greek bath. Um, but yes, just to let you know, um, we have got buy one, get one, whoo, half price on that deal today. So your info's on screen. It's $11.98 or $14.92 for you. And you get both, although you're only paying for one and a half. So do feel free to grab that and you could be doing techniques just like that um, if you so wish. Or you could be doing what Craig's about to. I am. We're going to do another little bit of inking. Uh, I'm with you on this one, Laura. Laura is saying there's a lovely British lady that works uh, with me who makes a bunch of tea and she always puts the milk in first. I drink it to be polite, but it's weird. 
You said it, not me. I don't get milk in first. See, I, I, oh, it's, I don't understand. I do understand people who have milk in. It's traditional, yes. I would say, to have milk in your tea. Mm -hmm. We are maybe the unusual ones for maybe. not having milk in your tea. Quite possible. However, milk in first, milky dry tea bag. Oh, no. It's no. not for me, Craig. No, not for me either. <laughs> no. I would definitely be sitting at my craft desk just doing doing nothing, just going cold. Mm. <laughs> Righty, -o. let's have a look at these ones now that Becky was just going over. I absolutely love that word that Becky used a minute ago, Instagrammable. Absolutely are. You're going to see these and have been seeing these throughout uh, Instagram, even that Pinterest, or, I always say Pinterest, Pinterest or your online stores or that. Now I'm going to ink through these ones similar to what I've done before. This time I'm using water reactive inks and I'm going for a Friar Brown and a Bordeaux. This time what I'm wanting to do is I am, well, I'll, I'll explain in a minute. I'll go back and say that this is one that I would be using my temporary spray with because you can see it's so flexible. Mm -hmm. There's so many bits and pieces. So as much as I like to not use the spray, I would say at home with a bit more time, I would come along and use my temporary spray, which is the purple lid one. So the repositional stick and spray, and that's going to enable you to pop it onto your card without it moving. But what you can also do, and it works well with anything like your woodwork effect or your bark, and that is dabbing. So I'm not actually blending the ink in, I'm blending or I'm dabbing using my blending tool. So what we can then do is if we do a little bit of dab, and what I was leading on to is you might have some leftover toppers, you know, from our woodland animal collection or anything that you've got left over from any collections. Actually, it could even be vintage diary if you want. But I've taken a topper that I had left over from a hunky dory collection. And I say it's left over. The collection that I used, in case anyone wants to know in a minute, which is this one here, it's the decoupage book. So it's the book uh, on the website that enables you to create your own decoupage. And I thought, instead of having to hunt through my cardstock for maybe woodwork effect, because I do have cardstock, adorable, scorable, where you get the wood effect, but I thought by using the stencil, you know, and I can go in a lot deeper if I wanted to with that colour. And like the last one, I could, if I wanted to, use some embossing powders if I use pigment, but I'm not going to. I need to trim this one down. So I've got a gold layer to six and a half by six and a half. So let's trim this down to six and a quarter by six and a quarter. And what we can then do, let's use our tape runner and we can attach this onto a bit of gold. And this is just our gold luxury card that I'm using. Let's pop that one on and I can then pop tape here and I've got a seven by seven card blank. This time I've gone for an ivory one so that it picks out some of the colors within the topper. So let's pop this one into place. So not only now is your stencils for doing any of your mixed media, doing any of your stencil work as such for a specific product or project, why not use it for your leftover toppers as well? So let's go in with the sentiment which was also from the set. Let's pop that one in there. And that's all that I'm doing Aww. when it comes to that stencil set. That's beautiful. So it's, it's nice. It actually looks as though it's part of a printed background that you've got, mm -hmm. but you've done it yourself. Then what you could do, whatever image that you are going to be using, you can start to pick out elements of the colour. Hence why I use the brown and the red, or to be more uh, specific, Friar Brown and Bordeaux. But then you can really zone in on the actual images that you're using, pick out colours into there and really finish it off just nicely. So it's something simple, but it's nice to use your leftover bits. So I was quite pleased with that one as well. I think that's so beautiful. It reminds me of um, sort of animals of farthing wood. Yeah, or, um, yeah. Oh, hey, oh, what's his name? Uh, oh, he's green. He drives a car. Um, Shrek. <laughs> no. 
No. But, but yeah, it sounds like it should. And Toad of Toad Hall. Wind in the Willows. Wind in the Willows. That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> Do that impression again? No, I'd rather not. Um, so we have got that up on your screen right now. Just as a brief reminder, you can, you aren't, you don't have to choose. Oh no, not here. You can have both of them, your wood grain and your natural stone. I think these are great. It doesn't matter what, who you're making the card for. Lady, gent, adult, child, whether you're seven or 107, I think there's real use in this. And I love things like that in my craft. Um, stash. So if you do seize the moment on those ones, it is now your opportunity. And again, as a reminder, it's buy one, get to the half price. We have got oodles on the way for you. Don't forget, we've got cosmic shimmer on the way. So excited. I love anything that glitters. Um, but we have also got for you later on the wonderful vintage diaries. Now these are the Sarah signatures and they didn't launch that long ago. It's only the end of March. So if you've not managed to get your hands on them or you've uh, missed them when they've been on show, do not you worry because we're going to have a little bit of a natter about them. Just to let you know your price is on screen. You've got £103.90 or $139. And you are getting so much with this. It is every single thing that we've got left. Um, and you're getting a huge discount deal on that one as well. Even more if you're Club Inspire, of course. So do feel free to seize the moment on this. I know that you're a fan of this lot, Craig, aren't you? I love the imagery, I love the colour tones that run throughout it, I absolutely love this. So many different directions in which you can take this collection. Whether you want to keep it as it is, maybe you want to go bright, you can absolutely use some of your bright colours, just a little accent and it works beautifully together. I want to just read out a comment from Winnebeth on YouTube is saying, love watching CC as the demos remind me of supplies I have and how to use them. Do you know something? That's what we love to hear as well. We want to give you the best deal possible. Of course, that's why we're here. However, if there's nothing that takes your fancy, maybe that you're maybe on a bit of a spending cap for that month or that, then use us. Just use us to be inspired through, whether it's me, you know, whether it's Jan, any of the team, that's what we're here for as well. Get comment in and always send in the pictures. Actually, Charlotte, if we got the email address that we could pop up for, uh, even if it's for later on today with Jan and Becky, send any pictures that you've been making and uh, just send them in studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. You might have a bit of time if you want to send any in for this show, but certainly for throughout as well. It's always good to see what you are making because uh, you inspire us just as much as we inspire you. Mm. So talking of that, let's go in and let's have a look at this collection. Let's here. do it. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, Absolutely it. gorgeous. I pre-prepped all these bits because this is actually going to be a project, but I wanted to do this in Wake Up Call. So I've taken some craft card. It's 11 inches by 7, so 11 by 7. And what I have done is I've scored at the 5 inch mark and I've also scored in at the 6 inch mark. So what I can do is I can fold these ones over. What we're going to do is fold it in. This is instantly going to give us our little book effect here. So this is where it's also going to work in well with maybe you've got our memory books or anything along those lines. Then what I've done is I've taken some of that gorgeous Centura cardstock purpley lilac that comes within the set. So what I have done, I've done two of these. So I have measured them. So it's six and three quarters from left to right. And it is also uh, five inches from top to bottom. And then what I've done on this one here, actually I've done it different on both. So I've got one here and I have scored in at an inch all the way round. And I've also scored in at half an inch all the way round as well. So that's going to give me my little pocket that we can see here. And then with this one, what I've done, I'm just double checking my measurements. I've scored in at half an inch all the way round and then I've scored at a quarter of an inch and what I've done is fold them ones over. That's also going to give me a little pocket. But what I will do is I will reiterate the sizes for both of these ones. So it was in total from left to right at six and three quarters and I've also done five inches from top to bottom. And where it crosses over, I've taken out that little neck. So we've got these bits here, so let's sit them to the side for now. 
I've also taken a bit of black card. Now, black card, you guys at home, just like craft card, you're going to have loads of it. I did use a part and paper that originally come with it. Now, you get vellum within this set, so you can do exactly what I'm doing with the vellum. Or maybe you've got other cardstock. Maybe you've got other pattern papers within the stash, and you're able to use that. Because I know, I'm not sure about you, Becky, but for me, when it comes to pattern papers, I am absolutely a hoarder with 12 by 12 pads, mm -hmm. or anything that's decorative when it comes to paper pads. Oh yeah, absolutely. Do you ever gorgeous. not use some of the paper yes. pads? <laughs> oh good. <Yep. laughs> because you love them so much. Yes. <laughs> you need a really special project. Need a very special project. But then you just end up keeping them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, good. <laughs> and I'm not a PC crafter. I'm not a USB or a CD-ROM crafter. Yes. So I know out there, you know, specifically with other companies, not so much us now, but there's CDs where they say you can print the same paper, mm -hmm. you know, time and time again. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, I just feel it doesn't matter how good your printer is, you, you're never getting it the same. So therefore, that's why when I buy this, the the proper one, the actual yeah. paper pad. I always have ones that I don't like to use because they're so good. Because they're so I just good. don't use them. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good point. <laughs> It's nice just to have, isn't it? Yes, definitely. So I've done a little bit of matting and layering just to measure inside here. I'm going to pop one on the front. So let's tape this one on. And then what I'm going to do is do another little bit of pattern into the middle here. So as I said, maybe if you didn't catch me then, these are papers that I used from the original set. However, you could do what I'm doing with the vellums within the set because the images match. So if we come in with these ones here, so on the outer slot, I'm going to use my adhesive. And this is where I would be using my tacky glue so that we get that instant tack and then it's going to dry into the fibers of the cardstock. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to do the same at this side here. Oh, a lot of love for your dress, Becky. Oh, that's nice, thank you. I feel like I look a bit like a um, either a ballerina mm -hmm. um, or like something that your grandma used to put over the um, the toilet roll. Do you know what I mean? Do you know she used to put that knitted lady over oh, the top of your loo roll? I know what you mean, but I know I know what you mean. Yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. Let's go ballerina. Oh, okay. Thanks for your comments. That's nice. <laughs> Definitely go ballerina. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that. I'm not going to be able to stop thinking of that now. Did you not used to have them in your house? Them um, knitted ladies that you'd sit over your loo roll? My, my gran, my granddad, we, we didn't. I don't, I don't know. know what the purpose was. I know, yeah. Maybe it's just not to have your loo roll out. Ma yeah, maybe. Or dust. Dust. I think it's more, it's the sort of thing that Hyacinth Bouquet would have, isn't it? Absolutely. And keeping up appearances. Yeah. That's, it's true, that's right enough, jo uh, Johnny, yeah. It draws, yeah, if you had one of them, it draws your eye to it, doesn't it? So you'd be just as well not having anything on it. Because yeah, you wouldn't true. notice the toilet roll. Yeah, that's true. Or just put it in the airing cupboard. What, the toilet roll? Yeah. Oh. Hide it, put it somewhere else. If you've got any hints and tips yeah, on that. hiding your loo roll, do <laughs> feel free to message us in. Studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, Kathy's got a question. Do you make home decor with the ones you don't want to cut, Craig? Depending on the image, what I might do is keep it very simple and pop it into a frame. And I've actually got some of the backgrounds from the Hunky Dory set that we'd done that was Animal Kingdom. And there was images in there that had the dolphins, that had the bears. They were A4 in size. Lovely. I can't, I just can't get myself to use them. Really? So what I would do is either get an A4 frame or get an 8x8 eight eight frame, cut it down and pop the images in that way and oh, create gorgeous. a home decor uh, frame. But yeah, I do, oh. I do do that with some of them. It's nice to uh, still use them instead of having them sitting in packaging. Because let's be totally honest, some of them are little artworks. They are, they yeah. absolutely are. And you want to, you, although you don't want to use them, 
you, you don't want to use them as in you don't want to cut into them. However, on the other hand, what you don't want to do is have them sitting in packaging and doing nothing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, a little uh, frame or a large frame is always a nice way to do it. And, of course, you could um, put resin over them and maybe make little coasters and things for them. Great idea. We actually had Rachel. She's our manager of our Eversham store. And over uh, lockdown, she's been doing resin. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was on Wake Up Call. She Skyped in. And some of the things that she makes is phenomenal. And absolutely, as you just said there, that would be a cracking idea. Yeah. It really, really would. Oh, I love resin. Nice, isn't it? Oh, yeah. it's just fab. It's one of my favourites. The effect that you can get is so, so nice. Right, so what I've done here, if I, I've assembled these bits, all bits and mats and layers, still uh, being able to use the um, vellum if you want. Then what I've done is I've just taken some card blanks here with the matching size envelopes. And this one, I've taken a strip of vellum and pop it down the, the, the side and then use one of the stamp sets that's in the set and just stamp down at the bottom there. So we've got a little bit of a notelet set that we can do. Brilliant. So if I pop that one, and I think it was that one I was going to put it in. Then the envelopes to match, I've taken the stamps as well and just popped a couple of little stamps in the top corner. That one can go into there. So we can close it open. Close it open? That Close it. Sense, does it? Put, close it shut. Yeah. Close it shut. Close I was it very open. confused then. Confused myself. <laughs> a little bit of a band to go round. That's going to keep it closed. And then I'm bringing in a few of these elements. And then we can decorate it. Let's put that there. Let's do this lovely, lovely love heart. I know so many are loving that love heart that have already got this set. And then finish off. Let's take one of the little waxes. I've already melted down. And I'm going to pop that on with a little bit of glue gel. Let's pop it into here, sit it there, and then we can finish it off that way. So that's, that's one real. idea as to what you could do. And as I say, I purposely had it all ready because I wanted to show you a project. However, that's if fab. you want to see even more, make sure you watch Jan later on, both Jan and Becky, Creative Cravings, 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern time, or of course, 11 a.m. Pacific time, where I know Jan is going to have some incredible other ideas to show you when it comes to the vintage diary set. Craig, I absolutely love that, mate. Thank you. I think that's brilliant. Really nice and organised as well. Thank you for so much for showing us. That's brilliant, isn't it? Um, so, yes, just as a reminder, that is coming up for you later on with the lovely Jan, of course, doing some demos with it too. But it's not all we've got for you today. If you've just tuned in, hi, how are you? My name's Becky. I'm, of course, here with the wonderful Craig. And we have got today, you'll get it, got it, Phew good deal which is your midi now this wonderful gemini midi comes with all of the power the wonderful power and strength of your normal gemini just in a smaller form um <laughs> that was odd anyway um yes you are getting it today 69.99 which is incredible for the amount of power or 89.95 but also you get an extra bonus points 100 bonus points to be precise so maybe you're in silver you want to be going up for gold for more discounts that'll take you 100 points closer so do feel free to get it got it Phew, good today all of that info is on your screen as to how you can get involved this is a gemini name this is a gemini tool so we may well already know the qualities but if you're brand new and it's your first order today did you know you get 20 percent off with your first order and if you've never done die kit in uh, cut in before this could be a really good one to get you started it's a brilliant bit of kit isn't it lovely craig it is it really is and similar to when the gemini mini came out being a crafter as well, I did think, but do I really need it? You know, do I need it? I've got my Gemini or I've got my large Gemini or I've got another die cutting machine that's electric. Do I really need one that's uh, manual? 
going back to, you know, kind of like how we had our die cut machines in the past. Mm. And it's, it's so good to hear all of uh, you say that many of you thought the same to start with, but then what you've done is you realise, once you got a hold of it, yes, it's quicker, you know, and obviously depending, you know, if you've maybe got dexterity problems or issues or that, then you might not always be quicker, but you've got that option to just cut at the tip, if that's all you're doing, and then reverse it back. However, it's all done on a folder base. So to do your die cutting, you're going to be using the folder that comes included within the box. Now with the folders, use both sides. It's intended to flip and rotate like this one. So just like you would do with your junior and your large Gemini plates, what you would do is you would die cut on one side of the folder and then the next time you would turn it over, you would do it on the other bit. So you would use all four sides and what will happen is that's going to keep it flatter for a lot, lot longer. Now, this still takes our 5 by 7 embossing folders, still takes our smaller ones as well, but what you're going to find with your traditional 2D embossing folders, you're going to need your plastic shim that also comes included, but wait for this, it takes your 3D embossing folders with no shim. Nothing at all. All that you do is put your card into the middle, run it through, and that's all that you need to do. Oh. The other thing that it also does, now maybe you've got a tiny, tiny die, which you can use the folder. If you've got the Gemini Mini, and you've got the tiny folders, they're exactly the same folders, but on a smaller basis, and that also goes through your Gemini Midi. So if you are really only using a small one, you don't want to use the bigger folder, you can use your smaller folder from your mini. So let's run a couple of these ones through. So let's bring in some cardstock that I've got here. Tell you what, let's use, I'm going to use some uh, mirror card so that you can see that even although it's a midi and it's uh, hand cranked, what you will see is it's got the same amount of power as the Gemini Pro or the Gemini or the Junior. The only difference, it's in a MIDI format. So I'm going to bring in one of our scene dies. We've got these coming up just shortly. Do, these are the ones that got the stamps to go with them. So let's use this one. And I'm purposely using this one because we've got tiny, tiny little window bits. So tiny little bits in with a mirror card, mirror card being coated. We're going to pop this one in. So pop it over your cardstock open the folder and then just sit it over the top and you close the folder. What I do with mine, Becky, let me just pop this one out, within the folder, either do numbers or alphabets. So for instance, let's do um, numbers. So I would do, I would write one, then flip it over, I would write two, flip it to the other side, write three, turn it over and write four. And then mentally it gives me a little reminder that, okay, I've just cut on side three. So the next time I'll do it on to the next one. Otherwise I'm like, what side did I, what side did I use it on? So it's a little bit of a reminder that uh, you've already kind of cut on side one, two, three or four, or A, B, C or D. Do you know what? You can call it any, anything you want. If you want to call each side a name, you can do it. It's up to yourself. Lawrence, Jean, Susan and Mary. There you go. Mm. What side did I just use? I just used Lawrence. Let's go and use Jean next. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can do So we can take all this out. That looks brilliant. Now, as I said a moment ago, I did purposely use this one because we've got tiny little bits all the way throughout. There is no little wispy lines. There's mm. nothing that's been missed. Now, yeah, you will need to help pop a little bits out, but they are all popped out perfectly. Nothing's been missed whatsoever. So whether it's a sentiment, whether it's a background, whether it's a create a card, it's still going to work beautifully every time. I've had a couple of questions actually about the MIDI, if you don't mind. Of course, go um, of course. That was meant to be, <laughs> that was a mixture of course and, and go, go for, for it. it. Gorf. I thought you Gorf. were coming up with a cute Gorf. little nickname. Gorf. Um, lovely Susan has said, can you put the double-sided dies through the midi? Yes. Now, what you're going to do is we actually showed it yesterday on Wake Up Call. So what you would then do is you would still use your double-sided plates. So we've got two here. So you would 
Use your double-sided dies, layer them up as you would normally with your two double-sided plates. Then what you would do is add your plastic shim and then pop it through your midi. And that's going to work perfectly. Wow. Doesn't matter if the plastic shim's on the top or the bottom, it's six and a half a dozen. Just make sure that your plate combination is like it would always be and you're adding that metal shim and it's going to cut perfectly. Hey, brilliant. But if you want to see that demo, go back uh, onto either uh, our website or the best places always go on our uh, YouTube because then you can always click and subscribe as well and you can watch back at the same time. Well, what I'll do is let's just do two other passes through a normal 2D embossing folder. So what this does is we're going to use the mirror card again. So let's pop that one in like you would do any other embossing folder. Bring in your plastic shim, sit it either underneath or on top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wind it through. Now, depending on what you're using, for instance, this in a folder, I can do it with the one hand. If it's a stronger die, you will need to stabilise it over the top. But if we go from up above, oh, how phenomenal is that? It looks like Willy Wonka's um, Chocolate Factory it does ticket, actually, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh, I could do it does. That you can one. Completely see where you're coming from with that one. And then last but not least, let's bring in another bit of uh, mirror card. Let's chop this one down. Now, in case anyone wonders, I don't waste these bits. They go back into a little box that we have and uh, we'll reuse them. So in case you think, you know, what's he doing with those bits after? They will be used. So what we can then do is let's bring in our last one, which is a 3D embossing folder. This is what blew my mind when it comes to a 3D embossing folder. We're going to layer it in like we would do any folder. So we can then pop it through. So place it through, that's all that we need. We're going to feed it up into the midi and we're going to run it through. So again, it's not that um, tough strenuous. to run through, strenuous, mm. so I can do it with one hand. And then remove this one. Wow. And look at that. So whether it is a simple die, a decorative die, a double-sided die, a 2D embossing folder, 3D embossing folder, whether it's 5x7, whether it's the smaller ones, you're still able to use these uh, when it comes to the MIDI. And you've seen it at home. I've got my Gemini Junior that sits at my right-hand side, and I have my Gemini MIDI that sits at my left-hand side. And, you know, for anything uh, when it comes to foiling and that sort of stuff, I'll use my Junior. And then nine times out of ten, I just bring in my MIDI, and I use that for my die cutting. But always remember as well, if you do have a mini, even the little folders will go through the MIDI as well. Oh, thank you so much for that. Well, You've got all of the info on that one. Tammy has also had a little bit of an input on it, saying that, uh, yes, you need a MIDI for when the electric goes, as I found out the hard way. That's a really good point, though, actually, isn't it? Yeah, I never thought of that. Yeah. Especially, yeah, you guys stateside, you know, you're prone to things like that. We don't have much, well, certainly don't have a lot of storms, and we don't have a lot of power cuts as much as you guys do so really good idea for that one yeah thanks for that one so if you do want to get your midi or you've been thinking about it you've been pondering today is your day because you're getting that 100 extra points you've seen the power you've seen how great it is and of course you're getting a fantastic deal with us here today because you know it's, it's one of our wonderful models so you know you're going to get a sensational price but you get the added bonus of the 100 points which could well take you over the limit to make even more savings so do feel free to treat yourself to it whilst you can we have got loads of treats again coming up through the show and for now for a little bit of a craftful deal let's talk all about the wonderful die you have just seen craig working with it comes as part of a bundle or a set if you will and these ones um you're getting the creator card scene stamp collection now you're getting so many different looks in these and it really is beautiful kind of quintessential possibly England or a town near you. Let me tell you what you're going to be getting. So you're getting your natural beauties which has got these wonderful um, sort of outlines let's say of your trees and then this walkway of grass down the centre. What I really like about that one is you could actually leave the trees bare for autumn put a little bit of snow on them for winter, little buds you could draw on there for spring, and then you could really have it flourish 
flourishing, maybe 3D blooming for summer. So it's an all year round one, that. As well as that, I'm bringing to you your scenic village. That's the one that Craig um, just used in that wonderful make there. For me, I grew up in the Lake District and this very much reminds me of lots of little towns in the lakes and I think it's beautiful for any little, uh, maybe even seaside villages. As well as that, you're getting your um, charming church as well. Does anyone um, like the holiday, the film? That, that church reminds me of a church you would see in the holiday. Do you know what it reminds me of as well? Go on. The Vicar of Dibley. <gasps> oh my the gosh. Comedy. I adore the Vicar of Dibley. Have you seen the new series? Newish yeah, series yeah. that's on this year. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, uh, yes, you have got that wonderful, charming church and you've got your wild and free, which depicts the two stags or of course for uh, Christmas time they could be reindeer, couldn't they? And again, you've got them in this wonderful open area, this gorgeous dell. You get the stamps with them as well. So you get loads of different ones, including, but not limited to, especially for you, happy birthday and um, on your special day or enjoy your special day, sorry. So you're getting lots of ones. You can mix, mix and match, of course. And today, another mega discount. You're going to buy three, get one for free. So you're getting a 25% discount on this. And it should be, um, you know, over 70 pounds but actually today it's 53 pounds and 97 or 95 dollars and 85 cents so if you do want to seize the moment you're getting something you can use all year round you can have a lot of fun with but also today you can get it at a steal of a deal so do feel free to grab it let's head on over to craig what are you up to with this craig righty oh so we're going to have a look at the scenic village so we'll do a little bit of coloring and then we'll assemble it into a card but what we've got with these ones here is we've got the stamp. Now, you can see from mine, mine's as well love because I've been using this one a lot because I adore it. Mm. You can use these with a 6x6 platform because it's a larger area. If you have got a larger 8x8 platform, then I would absolutely recommend to use that one because what will happen is it gives you more scope to be able to do a precise stamp. So what we can do is stamp all of this one. So I'm using our waterproof flagstone for this one here. So what I'm doing is I'm going to stamp all of this one here. And then we've got Susan on Facebook is saying, thanks for answering my question. Lovely news. Uh, that is brilliant. That's what we're here for as well, so that we can absolutely answer any questions going live. Absolutely. And we've got Laura, Facebook saying, new vicar already started. I am, it was kind of like a bit like with the, in lockdown. They were yeah, doing it, was. it over. It was, it was kind of comical with, was it Skype or Zoom? I think it was, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. They were doing it. Yes. So it is all her at home. It's, it's shot beautifully, obviously. Yeah. But it's all her at home. And uh, oh, yeah, they were lovely. We Some also, emotional bits though, let's the, be totally honest. It was, yeah, 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 it really, really was. And then what they've done, we had it here on a, uh, it's a new show, we had it here on a channel called Gold. I would have thought you would get it on BBC America, because it is a BBC show, but they've done uh, an up-to-date document, well, documentary. It had Don French and it had the creator and that, and they were interviewing them. Because obviously since then, unfortunately, they've lost a couple of the stars. So um, it was lovely to, to actually see that. So here in the UK, you can now uh, obviously go back, I'm sure, and catch up with it. But I would have thought stateside, it would have been BBC America that it would be on. Yeah, possibly. That's brilliant. Now, I've done two impressions to give it a nice, crisp, clean image. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Imagine that, even that, on the front of a card. You know, you can keep Beautiful. it that monochromatic look. Yeah. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to bring in the die for this one. So I'm going to move it out of the way and we're going to come in. Now what I'm going to do is I've got a couple of little bits of gold popped in. This has now taken our scenic stamps and our create a card dies to the next level. Combining two phenomenal concepts and then bringing them to one. I'm going to use my low tack tape for this one and now I'm going to position it so as I'm moving it about I'm going to have a look specifically in this area here and we can see the black ink line underneath yeah. so I'm going to move it until I see no black ink line I'm also having a check down into here and I moved it there so when I'm happy that I see no stamped black ink lines I'm going to pop my tape down 
and I'm putting it into these little recessed bits because that's what's going to be waste. So it doesn't matter if these bits were to tear. I can see there's a little bit just peeking through up at the top here. And the way that these have been designed is if you don't get it bang on, you've got that kind of few millimetres where you've got a few millimetre scope that you can then come along, maybe add in a little bit of colour, or maybe you have that shadow, shadow effect. So don't be overly, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Overly, Pedantic. yeah, yeah, it's a good word. And then I'm going to put it through my midi. So we're going to trim, well, I'm saying trimming it. We're going to die cut it. Then I'm going to trim it just after. So let's move that one through. Oh, there's, there's what Pamela's saying about Harry Potter. Yes, yeah, she's saying uh, that reminds me of Harry Potter's home village. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? What a bit to drive. Have you been to the Harry Potter studios? I have been in Orlando in, oh. un, in Universal Studios. I have been to that one. Oh, wow. I bet that was fab. It was. And I ha I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan. I enjoy the films, mm. but I'm not like some of my friends that are just totally mad, madly in love with it. Yeah. I, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the, uh, the experience, the experience. Oh, and cool. I would absolutely do the one that's here in London. Yes, I, I have do done that one. That, one. Have that one was really good. Yeah, it was. It was brilliant. Um, also, just because I know you haven't been able to get your mind off it, Craig, since we talked about my dress ballerina slash toilet roll hider. Um, Val has been in touch and let us know that um, a lot of the time, it was, they were called crinoline ladies, knitted by grannies. They were there to cover the toilet rolls for decency. And it was started in the Victorian era. Really? Yeah. Victorian Val there. Not that Val's from the Victorians. Not Val, not with, not with those high kicks. Anyway, I um, uh, just thought you, that was something you might want clearing up. Yeah, no, it's good because I did wonder, you would obviously presume that that is why, so that don't, people don't see the toilet rolls. Yeah. But uh, it's good to know that that is exactly what it was for. Yeah, I liked that. Thank you for sharing. Also, Laura still does it. Well, no, she says, we used to buy pink, blue and yellow toilet paper to match our bathrooms in the house I grew up. I know and some in, people do that, yeah. I mean, that is that is another level and I really like it. Um, she also says that in other homes, um, she did knitted and crocheted ladies to cover the toilet paper, but the ladies also had to match the colour of the bathroom. Really? I like that. But as in like the the doll thing that goes on the no, 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 as in the level of organisation for oh, the colour coordination. I thought you meant that the ladies, as when they go in with their dresser that on, they had to match the, the decor. Because <laughs> I was thinking that would be... You can, yeah, you can only use the toilet if you're in, <laughs> in blue or in pink or... So uh, I, I wondered. I wonder if that was it. But uh, I was like Johnny there. I didn't know that you get coloured toilet paper. I've seen on, a, I think it was Instagram, I've seen there's black toilet paper, but I didn't know that you get multicoloured toilet paper. Wait, when you say multicoloured? I, I, I think like one roll is, is pink, one is Got blue. You. I don't so mean it's like not like one thing. sheet is no. red, then it goes oh, yellow, etc. That's a good idea. That's uh, a really good idea. I'm going on Dragon's Den. Yeah. Don't take my idea. <laughs> I've gotten in. Get there. <laughs> right, yeah. Change the colours. Rachel says, um, yes, the design looks like Godric's Hollow. Mm. Who's that? It's, it's Harry Potter related again. Where oh, Voldemort and right. everyone knock about. Yeah. <laughs> That's not how she put it in the book. <laughs> uh, see, I, I'm not up to date with all that sort of stuff. <laughs> it did finish sort of 10 years ago, so. <laughs> Is that how long? I mean, it must have been. Not too far off that, surely. Yeah. Oh, I remember the craze and the hype for it all, eh? Yeah. Remember back in the, the, the day when that would happen. What I've done is I've started to colour with some aqua pen. So this one being flame red. And then you would carry on using wow. your green, your flame red. You can see how well that looks. So what I'm then going to do is if I go over the back, let's bring in our tape runner. I'm using the dotty one for this one so that we can get into all these little bits. What I've also done, 
watercolor card and I've used Oasis and I've popped that to the back of a craft card layer. So that gives the look of both the sky and the water down in the bottom. Let's pop this one also onto a card blank. So if we come in here, set that one into place. Now I've cut this layer to exactly the same size as the card blank. Press that in. Using one of the sentiments that's also within the stamp set, I'm going to set that there. And then what I'm going to do in this corner, I'm going to put a fair bit of tape on and I've got a ribbon. And what I'm going to do is I don't, I'm not one to do little triangles, so I'm not sure why I've done that. Hmm. So let's trim it there. And then there we go. Oh, wow. A little card, that especially for you. You do get a couple of sentiments on there, including best wishes should you want to use that as well. But colour them in any way that you want, depending on which medium that is uh, your preference, but really nice set as well. And the fact you've got the stamp as well as the dies, you can always use stamp on their own if they want, but of course, you know, use them in conjunction with each other and they work just perfectly. I absolutely adore that. And looking at it, especially the stamp work of it, I'm just naturally thinking to myself, how long, in all honesty, would it take me to sketch or draw something like that out? And I'm, I'm quite sort of a, it has to, I'm quite particular. It has to be right if I'm going to be sketching and drawing. No word of a lie. Something like that to create probably about five hours to get it that perfect. So it's amazing you can get that look, but you can get it quicker and you can get it for less because you've got that wonderful discount. So you will be purchasing that, you're getting the 25% off or buy three, get one free if you prefer it that way. So do feel free to seize the moment on that if you so wish. We have got loads and loads of other goodies. And one of them that we're gonna bring is perfect for right now because it's one of our Sara signatures and it is our Caring Thought. Now this is the mini collection that you've got here. Well, I say mini. It's not really. This is brand new for you today. It is your mini collection and it's got 11 elements. Now 11 different elements, sure, but you are also getting a hundred of your pin tags. Let me just take your sheen off there just so you can see those wonderful colours. Hey, up, that's if you come coordinated with this today, wonderful Craig, that's like what you're wearing. Yeah, I could do a little band around my, my waist or that with that, couldn't I? Or around your head. Or around the head. Yeah, that'd be very WWE, wouldn't it? Oh, God, it would be, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, so you... be like one of the rockers back in the day. <laughs> we are getting um, loads in here. So we're going to be bringing to you the Caring Thoughts collection, of course. You're getting the butterfly swirls and that one gives you this wonderful frame border each die cutter i'm also bringing to you your thank you your um with uh, love and friendship your just because as well in that there's five pieces in that in total that you're going to be getting um you're also of course getting the really bright and colorful brads that you get in there as i said before 100 in there you're getting with it to the metal die and that is the um uh, just to say that you're getting there too so you've got these lovely elements as well as the three lengths of your ribbon and the ribbon itself is like it well it is an organza ribbon so it's got an element of translucency to it which gives it a really nice sheen but it's also nice because if you do place it over your card you can still see the wonderful pattern card work underneath so it's not hiding anything which is lovely all of that for you today again that 25% discount you're getting on there you're getting it for just $39.71 $51 just over that so if you've seen the larger collection maybe you fancied it but you can't stretch to it monetary wise you've got an absolute bargain there so now you can enjoy it and enjoy it you will won't they Craig they will indeed yes yeah. so looking forward to having a little bit of a play with this one I've got to say, I say this quite a lot but I cannot believe that's the time already it's absolutely flown in <laughs> flies so quick on wake-up call really does so what we can do is let's have a look at this folder that Becky was showing you a moment ago. And this is a cut and emboss folder. If you're new to cut and emboss, you do get a bit of a white padded area. Keep that in place. Don't try and peel that out. That's there just to help protect the embossing folder. And I've taken a piece of white cardstock and I've cut it to seven and a half. So seven and a half by seven inches. And I've scored it an inch all the way down. And simply because of the size of this, I'm using, I've gone back to my large Gemini. 
If I was to cut this into a 5x7 cardstock, it would still go through your Gemini MIDI, but because it is, um, because it's larger piece, seven and a half by seven inches, it just means I have to go to my bigger scale. So this is going to look quite, uh, quite smart. Nice to have a nice small bundle. First time that a small bundle like this has been seen with the Karen Thoughts and getting those little accessory components as well. So what we can then do is we can then peel these ones through and we can pop this little bit out and the wings from the butterfly, look at that. They stay in place, but the wings pop up. So we're going to pop this one up into place. Then what we can do is if we come in with a little bit of grasshopper, so I'm going to go round, I'm going to bend these forward slightly so that I don't catch the colour, although you could if you want, but I do have one already finished to show you, but I can explain what I'm doing. And this is just water reactive and it is the grasshopper that I'm using for this one. So while I'm doing that, let's have a look. Um, Lots of people loving the watercolouring that you were doing on the house, Craig. Oh, I wish I had a, a little bit more time to show you more, but it was good just to show you what I was able to do. Definitely. And uh, how I'd done it. Um, also, we had Maria saying, wow, the village would look lovely in a frame. It would actually, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be brilliant. And what you could even do is if, you've, if, if there's a town that it maybe makes you think of, you could replicate it, you know, so if one of the buildings has got a blue door, you could yeah. colour that in. Or of course you could. You could draw little window boxes on them and things like that. So yeah, I love that idea. There is, there's lots of different ways in which you can use them. It's just a really nice set. Really nice set to be able to use. Alicia is saying, love these cut and emboss style folders. They are such a time saver, aren't they? Oh, they are. <laughs> they really, really are. We all have to make that really quick card, but we want it to look as though that, you know, we've spent quite a while on it. Yeah. And these cut and emboss folders do exactly that. Yeah. So much quicker. So this is how I've got to that point there. Then what I would also do is I would come along a bit of pink tulip and possibly honey pot I think I originally used to look like that one. Oh wow. And what I've done is I've really gone in a bit heavy into all these little swirl bits. Then what I've also done Becky is I've taken the same embossing folder and I've ran it through a bit of uh, vellum. This is a bit of peachy vellum that I've ran it through. And then what I've done is I've chopped them out, chopped the little butterflies wow. out. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to use my tacky glue. I'll tell you what, let's actually assemble the front of this card first. I've taken a piece of pattern paper, five inches by seven inches. And then I'm going to bring in my tape runner for this one. And by doing these measurements for this layer and also the cut and emboss folder, what it'll do is it'll enable it to get a dome effect. So if we pop that one over, we can then slide that one back and press. So when we go up above, we've got that domed effect that you can see here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my fingers to pop the butterflies out here, here, and here. And then go in with our little glue applicator and pop this one on. And you would spend a lot more time than I am and if you were maybe, if you're using a vellum that's got a bit of colour, then you might not want to colour the butterflies underneath. But the good thing with vellum, depending on which colour you use, you're still going to see the underside. Yeah. So we're still getting some of that peachy pink coming through, as well as the yellow, even although this vellum is coloured. Oh, so wonderful. I'm going to bring in this last bit here. So we can pop that one into place. Oh, one of my butterflies has popped off. So either assemble it first or pop the butterflies on after it's up to yourself. Let's pop that one back, that one back here. And then what we can also do is let's bring back in, I'm going to bring in my midi. And what I'm also going to do, let's bring in the little folder. Now keep in mind, you do get the large folder, but this is to show you how the small one will still go through. And I'm going to take two layers of cardstock. So I'm going to take a peach. And what I would be doing is I would do a bit of a drop shadow using a little bit of copper colour. 
but for time what I'll do is I'll just use this one colour of peachy centura pearl and then let you see that even the small folder is going to work fine. Let's get a hold of it and then what I can do is let's use our dotty tape runner for speed and it's a very delicate font as you can see mm. so I'm going to be really careful not to tear it like I've done there but hey ho let's go for it. I'm going to set that in snugly to the bottom. Let's take our next one and we've got just to say, now I did have little extra bits to decorate it but what I'll do is I'm going to leave it like oh, that Oh that looks one. brilliant. And then I'm going to bring it up oh, and then I would pop it onto a card blank. Let's just pretend that I've done that one. Now you can really go to town, but what it goes to show as well is you don't have to. Maybe a little bit of colour like I've done there and that's all you need to do because it's a cut and emboss folder. Use in some of the brads that you also get within the set, use some of the ribbon you also get in the set as well. But that is also including, when it comes to the bundle, it's also including a interchangeable die set. So you've got a die, background die, and then you can change between three sentiments within the middle as well. So a really nice set as Becky was going over just earlier. So oh, if you joke. do fancy grabbing your hands on that, you can absolutely now. These again are all of the treats you're going to be getting with it, including but not limited to the wonderful sentiment, the organza ribbon, etc. Should be over £52 today, $39.71 or $51.56. There we go. Isn't that just been a jam-packed day? Uh, it was a jam-packed day, jam-packed show. The day has only just begun. Uh, <laughs> I, I would say, unlike what Johnny just said there, I am not done for the day. I'm done for Crafters TV anyway. I'm going to be, uh, I'll be hanging about the office for a little bit, head home, do a little bit of prep for tomorrow's show. But I am going oh. to be back live later on at the end of the day here in the UK. So after Crafters TV has finished, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be popping on at half past nine tonight here in the UK or 4.30 Eastern time or 1.30 uh, Pacific time. And what we're going to do is tomorrow, myself and Joe, we have got a phenomenal, and let me tell you, a phenomenal cartload plan for you. That big, that what I've done is I said, you know what, I'm going to give you a tease. Now, I'm going to tease you even more and say what I'm going to show you tonight isn't going to go live till tomorrow. So you don't need to worry and you don't need to panic while you're watching me and trying to order. I um, just want to give you a little bit of a heads up as to what you can expect when it comes to cart load. So that is then going to be uh, tonight, half past nine here in the UK, 4.30 Eastern time, 1.30 Pacific time. There we go, there we go. Oh, keep that, oh, tap, tap. oh it doesn't work. I, oh, well, it's not going to work, is it, Craig? It's not there. It's not there, it's not there. Craig. Uh -huh. Oh, it's been a there long afternoon. Becky, it? thank you so much for popping in. <laughs> oh, no, you're more than welcome. So thank good. you for the inspiration. Oh, you're very welcome. You're been very back. welcome. Really it's been have. nice, yeah. Nice having uh, Becky's company. Been so lovely having your company as well. Uh, but you've, uh, maybe me for Crafters TV shows, but you've still got Jam Packed Day with Jan, haven't <gasps> you? Oh, I tell you what, we've got absolutely oodles. Cosmic Shimmers back. Yep. We have been so excited about that and really I'm looking forward to it. And we've got loads of treats and goodies, including the likes of your embossing powders, etc. Um, as well as that, of course, we've got the Vintage Diary collection coming up for you. We've got the Flower Months as well. That's coming up in the next show. We've also got a glue collection, which is one of my favourite kinds of bundles. All of that is on the way with the wonderful Jan, who I've just seen walking past with so much crafty stuff. Can't wait to get involved with all of that in a little bit. So yeah, all of that is on its way. And um, yes, yeah, so if you love stamp stencils, you're in the right place. Oh, they're brilliant, excellent. I know what I'm going to be watching while I'm doing preps this afternoon. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So as I say again, thank you so much for your company and your comments. Always get your pictures and comments in with the rest of the day when it comes to Becky and Jan. And then I'm going to see you at the, well, if you join me live, I'm going to see you at the end of the day across on my Facebook page. If not, don't worry. I will, uh, I, I don't mind. I don't mind. I know it's late for some of you, but I will see you right back here same time tomorrow, 12 p.m. here in the UK, 7 a.m. Eastern Time, 4 a.m. Pacific Time if you are up early. And we're going to do it all over again Yay! when it comes to Wake Up Call and Crafters TV. And Joe's back. Joe's back for the next few days, so he's going to be joining me on Wake Up Call both tomorrow and Thursday. And I believe 
it's someone's, it's a special day on Friday. And it's nothing to do with me or Joe either. No, mm. no me, no, no pen. You might want to find use of your birth month floral stamps. Yes. That's all that I'm going to say. Yes. Anyway, have a lovely rest of the day watching Becky and Jan, and I will see you either tonight or tomorrow when it comes to Wake Up Call. See you later. Bye.